Hello guys, I'm Sean the Bro, and we're gonna continue with the achievement list. Um, you guys seem to be liking them a lot more than uh, actually a lot of my videos. So Saints Row 2, all the different um, special missions, as well as all the gang missions and all the normal missions. You know, the main mission of the campaign. Ah, oh, we're stuck here. There you go. Resident Evil 5. I'm almost done this one. So, DLC. DLC. Uh, it's all DLC on the hardest difficulty. Obtain all treasures. Hardest difficulty of the main game. Um, and different bonus things like this. So, during the fight with Wesker, the a set number of times. That will actually change the cutscene. Stuff like that. Um, yeah, all these ones are different. Like, a lot of them aren't too clear or together, but it's just, you play and you get the different outcomes and then you'll get your answer. Rage. So, complete all Legends of the Wasteland, complete it without letting anyone become incapacitated, and complete one on Nightmare difficulty. Then, you got online ones, and then you got it for beating the game on different difficulties, performing different jumps, killing different enemies, and finding the different cards in the deck. Okay, Quake 4. Completed the game with the rank of private, which is the easiest difficulty, but and then I got I got all these which is pretty cool. Um they're just saving different people. Oh, that's cool, but yeah so just beating it only using different weapons, saving him. Obviously that can be avoided if they die before you save them. And same one there. Oh. It's lagging. Go back. PG or three. Okay. So um I beat it on at least bronze. I beat a lot of them on gold actually. Now platinum's the highest. I beat most of them on gold and I intend on going back and finishing them. But uh a lot of them were just through going, uh, ranking up and going through the game. I got these, really. That's pretty cool. Pac-Man got them all. Playing different rounds, eating a number of ghosts, and eating the different fruits and vegetables. Vegetables? No, I think it's only fruits. Dig Dug. So dig through an entire area on any round. That's probably the hardest, really. Then it's just, like, dropping rocks. Say all those rocks, 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 <laughs> rocks, 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 rocks. So I mean, they're obtaining the things that happen once you drop the rocks, but basically they all involve rocks. So uh, Pac-Man C E D X. Just go through them. Um, you may have to read them, but it's basically just getting different points on the different modes and using the different backgrounds. And this is just the original CE, so not DX. You gotta complete all the different modes again and eat the different items. Galaga. So uh, find the blue spaceship during battle. It's the hardest one, probably. And beat stage, we'll play up to stage 30. And then it's like all the other ones are finding enemies besides the get a dual ship then you have mx versus atv reflex which is cool you got one win 10 hole shots and then three jumps a 10.0 in freestyle event <laughs> those ones are fun and a lot of these are for moto career then you got mx versus atv untamed I got most of the ones for the free ride sprockets. I think that's really fun. And um, I got I got the hockey one. Lots of the credits till the end. All those kinds of one. Medal of Honor. So um, most of them are from actually multiplayer. Combat mission. Uh, two minutes for each class. Reach level two in any class. Play for 15 minutes. And then 
Here's just some bonus ones for the campaign. And then ones for actually completing the different levels in campaign. Then it's taking long again. Okay, Mass Effect 1. So, um, completing different levels and different subplots that you can have. As well as kills with different weapons. So pure, um, build a TV, special events, oh, I'll try to find the one that I'm talking about for you, that one's pretty difficult, hold on the accelerator for an entire competitive race or sprint event and finish in first place, you can't crash, so that's why, um, I miss it? Oh, here it is. Pull a special trick during a sprint event. That's extremely difficult. Um, I won't bother trying to explain it. It's too much if you haven't played the game. But you can probably check it out. It might not seem that hard until you play it. So, uh, this is legendary. Pretty much everything you do gets you an achievement. Any, any, uh, story goal that you complete. Left 4 Dead 2, I'm almost on this one. All the DLCs. So, see, those are all DLC achievements. So then, rescue, infect, you know, online. Use weapons. Try to look if there's anything. I would say maybe... Uh, Nothing here that we have is too hard. That one's okay. You know, some of the, the time ones aren't that easy. Oh, that one's hard right there. As a charge of both of the entire enemy team in a single charge. That one was lots of luck. Then Left 4 Dead 1. Um, actually, the crash course goes for Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 because it... Includes figures from figures includes characters from both of them, so all these are the same DLC achievements. A lot of them, and um, oh, I want to talk about one of these. Let me find it. I can't imagine it's all the way back here. Hold on. Oh, 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 it's, a first, it's the last one I got. Has a tank hit 20 survivors with a car in the Crash Course campaign? I didn't even do that. <laughs> There's no way I got 20. It was actually like my second game, and I hit, I hit, I think, I actually think I hit everyone at once with it, which is pretty impressive still, but it wasn't 20. However, that's cool. And then we got Space Invaders, Infinity Gene. So beating it, <laughs> um, the difficulties don't carry over. So yeah, all these ones just doing different things. Then beat it on normal. Then I went back and beat it on hard. Then I went back and beat it on easy. So then we're on just cause too. Um, I'm almost done this game. Different missions and then there's not really any hard ones on this game. A lot of them were just. That they may take a long time, like this one, 50%, and then there's 75%. As much as I love the game, it's pretty much just doing the same thing over and over again, as many times as you can. Then just cause the first one, basically completing all the story missions, 20 car to car jumps, kill 250 enemies, kill 500 enemies. Home front. So I did most of these uh, complete challenges. What's this one? Oh, yeah, that one's hard. You have to get a group of 16 players that are willing to get this. And you have to find a ranked match. So you have to actually find it so that no one is uh, on your team, which is hard enough on its own. And then you have to do it so that 
Um, no one quits or lags out through the entire game, including the other team. At least that's what we had to do. Some people said they got the start, but that's I had to wait till the end to get it. So uh, then a lot of them were just campaign. There's not dying, and and then there's always some special achievement. Sometimes there's two, but it's always not dying, and then a special achievement plus completing it. Um, then you have Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon of War 2. So, actually, this is, I completed the game, so this is all just beating out, beating on the hardest difficulty. Well, I think actually there's a harder difficulty, but I beat it at the hardest one you have at the start. And then this is the first Tom Clancy's uh, Ghost Recon of War, and it's, they're all campaign missions, including the training, really. Here's War 2 I, com I completed, there's seriously 2.0, the most of a grind I've ever done, probably, and then that's another really big grind, became an Ultimate Gearhead at level 100, um, but that became really easy towards the end, because there's 20 times experience, and I have everything else, so if you need to see, I would just look at, here's what, two achievements. Yeah, let's make this one a little bit longer than the normal episode. So Gears of War 1, I'm almost done that as well. Um, I got all these ones for the DLC. Hosting complete 50 ranked matches. See, they're all ranked matches, but the problem with Gears of War 1 is if they quit and you did something that included those matches, then it doesn't count. So you get screwed over. And then completing on all the difficulties and with two people and active reloading. Okay, so Boys of Motorsport 4. Connect. Uh, story. Different types of cars. They have lots of. Well, not lots. They have several ones like that where you have to beat a car with a car. They so, all yeah, pretty basic stuff. Not I didn't get into the too hard things yet. And those are DLC ones right there. Then we got Motorsport 3. The achievements are actually easier, I'd say, because a lot of them are just leveling up and then reaching driver level as well. And you can use the DLC cars that are race cars and lower levels, where you can't in 4, so that makes this easier. Here, 3. Um, yeah, this one, I beat the game. And then, this one is probably the hardest one I have. Take a total of 95,000 points on interval 1. That's not too hard, but out of these ones it is. Face Breaker. Um, this game, is, there's no reason for the difficulty. Oh, I got... Is that it? No, those are both good ones, but... um. Yeah, that one, that one's hard. Well, I mean, you can probably set it up and boost it or something, but... <laughs> that one was fun. Then just some more campaign ones. Okay, so let's get to uh, Dead Space 2. So Fable 3. Um, a lot of these will change. Most of them change, but it's just, all these ones you're seeing now are from collecting things. Um, here is like, here is beating the game, and DLC achievements were up here. Um, this is, this ones right here, I think. Yeah, these ones are, um... I'm trying to th oh, the different kills for each of the weapons. Here we go, it's loading now. Or is it not? <laughs> it's not, actually. And that one's the hardest one in the game. I'd say the hardest one I have would be... Probably the Keymaster one. It's not hard, but it's a lot of finding. Fable 2. So, it's a lot of just doing different things. 
um, of interactions with different people. And then this one's the this one's a special one. So that's just a like a quarter of the game completed, but it's 100 gamer score. So so why not? Then we got um oh whoops oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, the last one we'll do here is Duke Nukem Forever. I uh, completed that all the DLC, all the ego. There's all the DLC, and um, yeah, that one that one's probably the hardest. Not completing the game or getting all the ego rewards, getting one million points on the pinball. Yeah, that was. Let's not do that. No, hold on. I'll show you which one. That one might be the hardest. Win air hockey with a score of seven to zero. That was. There's no reason <laughs> for how complicated that was, and um, so. That's as much progress as we made. We'll start out with Dead Space 2 next time. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Oh!